Welcome to Aurora, the incubator of World 2.0. My name's Jay Skell, and we've been expecting you. You've been invited here to innovate, to invent, and to create. But we're also asking you to do the most important thing with your lives that you can do. Here, away from the rest of the world, we will build the tools to lead the planet into the future. A completely sustainable economy, a blossoming environment, safe homes, security for your family, and a community where innovation is celebrated. The generations that come after us may forget all about us, but they will thrive because of the work we do here. Thank you for joining Skeltech in a rule. Together, we are building tomorrow.
Who are these guys? Some of you have got to be alive. Stormcloud 1-1, one, one. this is Weaver, come in, over! This is Weaver, come in, over! Anything? Who got? Contact, contact! What are you doing?
must be dead. Ain't no way anyone can live through all this. I just smoked a ghost. First kill of the day. These guys eat shit. I don't know what everyone's worried about. You just better hope to God can kill them all. Plus, the war on this island? Jeez! I got you! Mayday. Mayday. This is Ghost Lead. Does anyone read? Five by five, Ghost Lead. Who is this? A friend. I got the radio from a ghost. This ghost still breathing. Ghost Lead, you can chase the white rabbit. Or run with the Red Queen. Give me a sit rep. I can wait. Your man's getting medical treatment. Follow the trail behind the ancient ruins. Your destination is in the mountains between two waterfalls. Understood. Go sleet out.
Stop right there! <clears throat> Who are you? I was invited. Who the hell are you? Another one. You can always turn around and go back down the mountain. Things are a little tense, you know? Just watch how you handle that weapon. We don't allow shooting in Erewhon. And what's Erewhon? A cave. So we call it. Get in. What is this place? Will you ever see this coming? Are you boys all right or what? The only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. And some supplies. Can you believe this place, man? God damn. Our mind's blown. Yep. And they're friendly, more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. You boys know what took out our birds? No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Titan with some troops out there who were calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? Now you're dealing with me. You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw-up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? I'm just trying to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago of Aurora went dark. Now, we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, the choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell, some kind of military takeover. Sentinel, military contractors, they put this place under martial law, using the old boot in the neck technique to enforce it. Skeltech is still making all the high tech stuff they always make. Except maybe now they're making more weapons. Not exactly the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. Where can I find J. Skell? Ah, uh, the head of Skeltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but. His drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? We're just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, I see our wounded. Yeah. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Calm him down, yeah? And then come find me. I'll give you the guided tour. See yourself doing this. Drones, drones. They're going to put this thing on drones. I know. I know. The ghosts are doing everything they can to stop it. And <laughs> what were we? What... Oh. Hey. Who are you, man? <sighs> Nomad. Who's left? Who made it? Hey, you just.
just relax, pal. I'm doing what I can. You damn superhero. <sighs> Here. Here's another superpower. I can't find Midas. But Weaver... Relax, pal. We'll take care of it, all right? And the wasp. Yeah. And with the comms blackout, I can't reach the ship. But I'll talk to Mad Shells, the big guy. He might have a boat I can use. Don't you worry. I'll come back with some help. Go. Looks like that's all we are to these bastards. No. My life will not be a test run for genocide. I'm gonna demand Schultz calls a meeting the second that cure is in our veins. We need to discuss how to make sense of her. Hey, Nomad. I got something you might find interesting. How's it going? I'm good. But listen, I need to show you something. Over there on the table. Recognize him? Yeah, his name is Victor Cost. He's old school black ops. My guess is he's here with the CIA. Well, if he's a mole, then he might be able to help us. From what I can tell, his location is somewhere near the channels. You might want to start by looking there. All right, I'll head over and see what I can dig up. This was a good find. Glad I can help, even if I am all dinged up. Will you ever see this coming? You ready for your personal tour of Erewhon? Just don't forget to swing by the gift shop. Never. Bang, bang! <laughs> now the naval station closed down years ago. Who are these kids? The birds and the bees, Nomad. We've got three generations living on this island. If I can be blunt, I don't like you soldiers being here. It puts these kids at risk. But my old man bleeds red, white, and blue, so we'll never turn our backs on you. I can sort you out if you need any gear or supplies. You and your troops can bivouac over there. If you really get to feel froggy, you can talk to Sergeant Rowan Brown. He used to be Kiwi SAS. He likes scouting around the island for those elite troops. They call themselves wolves. Rowan likes picking fights with them. And over in our war room, we're working on our own logistics. You can usually find Mads in there. There's a Skeltic engineer, Jericho, hanging around. She's worried about something big on another island. You might need to bring some friends with you on that picnic. So like I said, we will never turn our backs on you, but you better not do anything to put this community in danger. Oh, I think you've got a hunch it's already in danger. But don't worry. I'll do my best to keep all of you safe. Let's hope it's enough. What's the best way to customize my weapons around here? Well, let's see. You're probably going to want a new scope, a couple of rail attachments, some bigger magazines, maybe even a new suppressor. Huh. You know your stuff. When we came out here, we were planning to survive. Do you have anything you could sell me? I don't have much, but you can take a look. I'll sell you what I can. If you need something I don't have, you can rummage through any military crates you stumble across. The more Sentinel Corp guns guarding them, the more likely you'll be interested in what they're keeping inside. I like the way you think. What do you gotta do just a little more? 
ready for this fight? Skills back now. Our mission here has been hard. So many lost. So many suffering. My closest allies. My brothers. Cut down by a man we once trusted. But we are ghosts. Alone, we are formidable. Together, we are unstoppable. Others have survived here. And I have found the deadliest. As a team, we will take the fight to our enemies. We will avenge our fallen. Because we are ghosts. Available at any point after you have reached Erewhon for the first time, Fury, Fixit, and Vasily can be activated or dismissed at will. And from the beginning, you will be able to fully customize them. This customization includes all of the physical attributes, as well as gear, equipment, or even full costumes. Your teammates can be tweaked just as much as your main character, and they will always follow your own behavior. If you decide to go stealth, they will equip silencers and crouch, or go prone when possible. But if you decide to go loud and open fire, they will stick by your side. When deployed, you can issue different orders to your teammates through the order wheel. There are four different orders you can give to your teammates. You can tell them to regroup on your location, to hold their current position, to go to a specific location, and to open fire on nearby enemies. These orders can be given at any time, even through your binoculars and drone. Once they approach potential threats, the teammates will notify you and mark them automatically. Got a hostile. With a good look at your enemies, you will be able to set up a sync shot where each of your teammates picks a target. You can even link it to your three sync shot drones for a simultaneous seven target takedown. The teammates have weapons equipped at all times, a versatile assault rifle to accommodate all situations, and a primary weapon that you will be able to fine tune. Indeed, apart from mark upgrades and passive bonuses, the full gunsmith is accessible to your teammates, and their weapon of choice will have a direct effect on the battleground. Depending on the type of weapon they have equipped, the teammates will adapt their engagement distance and rate of fire. From close distance shotgun wielding, all the way to long distance sniper shots. Of course, if you get taken down, your teammates' priority will be to try and rescue you. To achieve that, they will first focus their fire on the surrounding enemies before getting to you. And they will expect the same from you, especially as you will be able to carry them to safety if the situation requires it. We'll see you on the battlefield, ghosts. You ever see yourself doing this? You ever see yourself doing it? Don't lead Sentinel back here. Lives are at stake. Did you hear? Ballard has a cure. At this point, I won't believe anything until I see it with my own eyes. Fine, but allow yourself a little relief. And soon it'll be time to think about the future. And we're gonna need you. The future? We all need to decide. Sentinel attacked us with a plague, like sneaks, cowards. My brother is dead, children are dead. If we live, we fight. We owe the dead that much. I'm glad we agree. Now we start convincing the others.
ready for this fight? I think this was how things were going to go when Sentinel came in. Drones. Drones? They're gonna put this thing on drones? Not since last week. Greetings. I know. Couldn't help but over here. There's some kind of problem. We're not sure. Our friend Samuel's missing. You a homesteader? Yeah, used to be. Before he decided he'd rather live by himself. No great loss, if you ask me. He likes catching his own food. Says it keeps him closer to nature or something like that. And then he gives the furs and leftover meat to the camp. Never takes anything in return. I don't get it. Sounds like he knows how to take care of himself. Last week, he was down here hollering about running into a bunch of sentinels on his land. They said they carried away a couple of deer he caught, smashed up his traps, and then... This week? Nothing. Samuel's always had a temper, but in this place, these days, you say the wrong thing to the wrong person... Well, you know. Yeah, I know. Say, where are his usual stomping grounds? He's typically around to the southeast of Garden Mangrove, northeastern part of Gairon. I'll see if I can find him. Thanks. I appreciate it. Goodbye. How's your pal? Holding up. Thanks for looking after him. You heard anything about a Lieutenant Colonel Walker? That the guy that works with the troops call themselves the Wolves? He used to be Skeltech's military advisor. Heard he was an operator. You know him? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, we met a couple times. got a mean look in your eye. You got big plans? You know how I can get off this island? Right. And leave us regular folk to fend for ourselves, huh? Auckland is 2,000 kilometers away. It's an awful long way to run with your tail between your legs. I'm not running, Mads. The USS Wasp is a couple dozen clicks off the coast. If I can get there, I can come back here with some help. The Wasp, huh? 
Not sure I'm fond of the idea of a bunch of squids running around our island. Well, there are a couple of jarheads on board, too. Well, if that's the case... Look, I'll be straight with you. We know that we're no match for former spec ops. So some of our friends, homesteaders and Skell employees both, are leaving the island on a couple of boats. Can you get them protection on the Wasp? Absolutely. All right. I'll tell you where the boats are. see yourself doing this? Those fools can call him a genius all they want. Jace rig you got there yeah she's a beaut ain't she this is just a little maintenance work but yeah we managed to set up a system of hydropower with parts printed by the 3d lab but you printed the parts pretty wild huh you should see the stuff startup was putting together hell they could print much larger designs complex machinery working parts those kind of things really this tech was invented to make the world accessible to everyone when sentinel took over the island they started printing parts for their deadly drones it ain't right. Again with this? Look, we already know how you feel. When I saw what they were doing with the program, I left. Joined up with the homesteaders. But hey, if you're interested, why not check out the startup? Yeah, where's that at? It's called uh, Polymorph Modeling. It's down in the southeastern part of Smuggler Coves, west of the swamp. Thanks a million.
ready for this fight. 